Hi friends, how are you today? I am so glad that you are joining me today. Hey, do you like snack foods? How about pretzels or crackers or chips or popcorn? Do you like those? I love that snack food. Do you know what makes all of those snack foods so yummy? It's salt. Salt makes these foods taste so good. If they didn't have salt on them, they would taste okay. But when you add the salt, it tastes so much better. But what happens when you add too much salt? It starts to get yucky. You can't stand the taste and it makes you really thirsty and makes you not feel so good. So when you have too much salt, that's not good. And when you don't have enough salt, your food tastes kind of boring. So we need to make sure that we have just a little bit of salt because a teeny bit of salt goes a really long way. Are you wondering why I'm talking about salt? Well, so were the people that Jesus talked to. Jesus used to tell stories to people to help them understand God's great big love. Well, Jesus thought, maybe I'll use salt as an example. You see, when Jesus was on earth, they used salt for all kinds of things, not only to flavor their food, but they also used salt to put on their meat to make it last longer. So salt was a big part of the people's lives when Jesus was here on earth. You ready to read the story with me? We're going to read out of this Bible right here. It's the Spark Story Bible. Our story is called Salt and Light. And you can find it in the book of Matthew, chapter 5, um, verses 13 through 20. Let's read it. Salt and light. When Jesus spoke from the mountainside, he always had important things to say. One story Jesus told as he was teaching from a mountain was about how we are like salt and light. Jesus said, you can be like salt to the rest of the world. And the people were a bit confused. Us? Like salt? They asked. Jesus continued, salt is important. It keeps our food from going bad and makes it taste better too. Just a few specks of salt may not seem like very much, but it makes a big difference to the food we eat. You may feel small like a tiny speck of salt, but you are important. What you do makes a difference in this world. The people began to understand. You can be like light to the rest of the world too. The people were curious to see how Jesus would explain this. Even a small lamp can light up a big room, said Jesus. Even though you are just one person, what you do and say changes the world around you. You shouldn't hide the bright light that you are. Show the love that you have for God all day and every day. Then Jesus said, God gave the Israelites special rules and, the, and leaders to help you live by God's way so that you can be like the salt and the light to the world. I came to help you follow the rules so that you are living in the way God wants you to live. I want you to teach others to live in God's way too. This makes God happy. The people nodded, understanding that Jesus had what Jesus had to say and excited to make a difference in the world. Look around for common items. How can each be used to explain something about Jesus? Jesus told this story on the mountain because he wanted to have as many people hear him as he could because what he had to say was important. He wanted people to know that they are important. He wanted you to know that you are important. You may feel small, like a teeny little grain of salt, but that teeny grain of salt has a big impact on flavor, just like you. You have a big impact. So whatever you're good at, whatever you like to do, do it and help others have fun doing it too. Share God's love with them. Make other people feel God's love. Make them feel loved. You can do this by being kind. You can do this by listening. You can do this by telling them that they are loved, that they are loved by God. You are such an important part of our world. Now, did you hear about the lamp? 
Have you ever done that? Have you ever turned out the lights and put a teeny little light to see how much light it does? Let's try it. Okay, can you see me? It's pretty dark in here. I'm gonna turn on this little light. This little light gives off so much light and it's just this teeny little light. It's just like what Jesus said. Jesus said that you are the light. You can bring joy and happiness to others. I'm gonna turn on the light. So I have two activities for us. You can choose what you have around the house. You can do one or both or none. The first one I have is kind of a fun art project and you need real glue that has the liquid kind and you can make a decoration. Um, I was just going to make a candle because it reminds me of the light. Okay. I made a candle of glue. Can you see that? I don't want to hold it up too long because I don't want it to run all over the place. So I'm going to put some paper underneath here because I'm going to sprinkle it with salt. Okay. So I'm going to take my salt and I'm just going to make salt go all over the glue. Just kind of like you do glitter. Okay, now I'm gonna kind of shake it to make sure I get salt on all of the parts. Okay. Can you see my candle? Then I'm gonna take some paint. And I have some watercolors here. And I'm gonna get my brush really wet. Let's see, I'll start with red. Get my brush really wet. Get lots of red on there. I'm gonna keep dipping it so I have a good amount of water on there. And I'm gonna just drip it onto my candle. I'm gonna add some more water. And then I'm gonna do the same with another color. I'm gonna do orange. Get it real wet right there. I'm gonna get some more water. So then it kind of looks like a flame. Can you see how the salt soaks up the color? Isn't that neat? And you can continue doing it with the rest of your picture. Let's see. I'm going to add some blue. Maybe I'll make it kind of a tie-dye color. What do you think? Okay. And then it will dry. And every time I see my candle, I will remember that Jesus asked me to be the light, to give love and kindness and God's great big love to others, just like you can do that. Now my other activity is I just have a plastic cup and a little bitty battery light, and then I have some markers. Um, I was going to, for Halloween coming up, draw maybe a pumpkin. Can you see my pumpkin? And then maybe I'll do, make it a jack-o'-lantern. How about that for Halloween? And I'm gonna say, don't be afraid. I wrote, don't be afraid, Jesus loves you. And you can put that right in there and then in the dark, it will shine through the light and you just made a candle holder. The other thing you can do is the same thing on a bag. You can decorate it. I'll just write real fast. You can draw something on a paper bag so that you so that you are the light of the world. I'll take my candle. And you can take it and put it out front of your door on Halloween or before Halloween to decorate to remind people that Jesus loves you. All right, my friends, thank you for spending time with me and I will see you next week. Bye-bye.